into this space of healing with Heretta. I ask that you just sit back, unwind, drop those shoulders, and allow me to speak to your heart, your soul, your mind, body, and spirit. Let's enjoy this ride. Beautiful souls, welcome back, welcome back. Yeah, so I was going to take a break this week, but then I thought that wouldn't be fair because I didn't announce that I'm going to take a break. So this is a warning. I'm probably going to take a break in a week or two. (laughs) But for today, I had to come and show up because this is a 6-6 portal day. What does that mean? Well, it is June 6th. So 6-6. And it just happens to fall on a new moon in Gemini. Yes. So the new moon is occurring on 6 6 at 8 37 a.m. And just a reminder new moons are always known to mark the beginning of the lunar cycle. And it's all about having a fresh start. And this time the moon is falling in the sign of Gemini. And um, Gemini is all about, it's associated with the planet Mercury, which is all about communication. So we are aiming to communicate effectively and especially um, express ourselves and our thoughts and our feelings. So this new moon in Gemini will be a great, powerful and marvelous time to set intentions for what you wish to call into your life y'all know I'm all about setting intentions and speaking things into existence and it will be favorable for you to especially write out intentions associated with love and relationships because the planet Venus is going to be very very close to the sun at this time so yeah if you have a desire for love and relationships and add that to your list of intentions all right so believe it or not we are close to the halfway point of the year so if there's anything that has not gone your way per se um in 2024 this will be a great turning point for you gemini is the ideal sign to guide us through any type of big changes and it encourages us to just simply go with the flow but actively invite change i will to say that again actively <laughs> invite change so again this is an excellent time to make a fresh start turn a new leaf start a new project whatever it may be but take some time have some stillness and question any old habits behaviors beliefs that uh no longer aligned and just start searching for new and inventive ways to progress in your life you know Because this will definitely bring about an opportunity for us to be limitless and to experiment and switch up plans and have a new game plan. Just switch up your path. You know, do you ever get bored with yourself? I get bored with myself from time to time. Like, you know what? Nah. Like, okay, so if you're following me on social media, you probably getting tired of seeing my calories that I burn. But I, <laughs> but I needed to do that for myself. It, it, it's really like a, a accountability tactic because I really don't do well with quote unquote accountability partners, but I'm showing up on Instagram with my workout. I don't know. It makes logic sense to me in some way because when I first lost a lot of weight, that's what I was doing. So I was like, okay, let me remember some of the things that kept me motivated. And one of the things that kept me motivated was seeing the calories that I burned and posting it just so y'all don't think I'm taking a shot or anything when I (laughs) step out, snatch. 
Okay, I don't know if I'll be completely snatched, but Lord willing, I'll be a lot lighter and can fit in my clothes nicely. Yeah. Okay, that's nor nor here nor there. I just I just needed to get that off my chest for whatever reason. Uh, anyway, back to this new moon. So, <laughs> so anyway, if you want to make some pivots in life, this will be a great time to do it to start some new projects. Um, when I was researching, it stated that this two week like waxing moon phase. From June 6th to the 21st until the the next full moon will be a great time to start any type of financial or intellectual project. Um, Even if you want to start like a new course or study or, you know, uh, anything that comes with mind, thought, communication will be great. Because we are in that air sign of Gemini, which is all in the head, right? You get it? All right, so. Start with your intentions and just let the universe know what you need and trust that all will be delivered to you in the right divine time. Yeah. Okay. So (laughs) I enjoy using crystals as well. If I'm like really working, going, intentionally calling something into my life, why not get a little extra juice from a crystal? It's an element of the earth a crystal they're powerful Hmm. yeah try it for yourself (laughs) hey spirit i see you with the clock at 333 before i start talking about crystals to use with this new moon in gemini Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i see you all right so a crystal that i looked up to see that will be beneficial for us to utilize with this new moon is how like and you, if you want to look that up, it's H O W L I T E. How light? How and then light. Got me? Okay. So, this stone is known to bring about some uplifting and calming senses to our mind. So, it helps us open up to higher insights and any type of intuitive knowledge that needs to come in. So, that little whisper that you hear, mm -hmm, how light will assist with that? It helps with releasing any anxiety. So, shutting down all that mind chatter that might be going on and just bringing in a sense of quiet and patience and just being open to whatever your spiritual team has to uh, offer you at this time. So it can also help attune you uh, with focus and going inward and also prepare you to grow in life. So it's a great choice if you just need to slow down, hit the pause button, have some stillness, some reflection and bring about the shifts of your ideas or the perspectives of the world. Hmm. Yeah. Opening up new ways of seeing the world I like that so hopefully this highlight will help us find peace as well as tap into our higher self which includes our higher mind which is connected with our crown chakra which is connected to the divine as a whole so yeah go ahead and get you some highlight if you have it and um, yeah set some clear and powerful intentions with this moon and reminder the moon energy is potent for three days so you got thursday friday saturday to get stuff done okay all right so just a few more crystals i was like oh okay so that's one but everybody doesn't have how light but it's a cute little white stone with like gray stripes on it or whatnot um But if you don't have that, there are other crystals that are beneficial to use with new moons. So I'm going to go ahead and shout out a couple of those just in case you might have some. First is Labradorite. I love, love, love Labradorite. I have a huge um, ring with Labradorite. But Labradorite is great for protection as well as change. And it's just known as a stone for transformation and insight. And it definitely provides spiritual strength when you are searching to reach your highest potential. Can you take me higher? 
to a place with golden streets. So let's go there. Yeah, let's go there. <laughs> All right. That song is by Creed and it was released in 1999. All right, back to the pod. Another crystal that might be beneficial is smoky quartz. Oh my goodness, I love me some smoky quartz because it just eliminates negativity and any type of bad habits that we may have. So it really has like a detoxifying effect and calms our nervous system, but also instills positive thoughts because you know, when whenever we're anxious and get overwhelmed with overthinking, it just muddles up everything else in the world so why not have something that can just calm our nerves and put us in a state of stillness and calm okay so another crystal that might be beneficial is a black obsidian and those are always great for new moons because it does bring about protection when you're on your spiritual journey I love me any old kind of black song whenever somebody's like going through and feel like they're taking up and uh, absorbing other people's energy I'm like you need a black crystal okay it can be a black onyx a black obsidian a black kyanite whatever you need you need a black stone a black opal <laughs> Any type of black stone will assist with providing protection and removing negativity. All right. So another good stone to work with is, of course, a moonstone. Yes, yes, yes. It's one of the top stones to work with, especially with new moons. And it just brings about a sense of harmony and allowing you to be in tune with your intuition. And of course, attract new beginnings and promotes nothing but success. So definitely utilize a moonstone. They have different variations with the moonstone too. I like a peach moonstone. I really do because that's it has that fertility in it as well to birth new beginnings. You can also use a citrine. Citrine is one of my faves because it's all about good luck and fortune and abundance. And it really helps that solar plexus chakra with moving forward. And I think that will be beneficial if you're starting a new and turning a new leaf <laughs> with the rest of 2024. Utilize you a citrine nice little gold stone mm -hmm. and last but not least a clear quartz clear quartz is like the mm, what can I say it amplifies any crystal that you have so let's say you you get if you like I don't have any crystals right all I have is this clear quartz you can make that clear quartz whatever you want it to be you could speak into that stone whatever it focuses and amplifies and attracts the intentions and desires of our hearts so why not utilize those crystals so a quick rundown one more time how light more for sure will be great with this new moon in gemini but you can also utilize a labradorite a smoky quartz a black obsidian a moonstone citrine or a clear quartz or anything else you know there's no rules with this spirituality thing that's why i'm trying to get across to anybody but these stones really came across to me and i actually used them with my uh new moon intention setting today so yeah <laughs> which was fun I didn't I didn't know what, what was gonna happen today you know I was like okay spirit what, what, what where, where are we going with this today and I was guided to do my um this new morning routine that I'm, I'm starting we're gonna talk about that in a second but anyway <laughs> I was like, Spirit, where, 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 where are we going with this today? Um, because I just really, really wanted to focus on change and transformation and growth. And yeah, so I happened to go to uh, a mound in the area. Um, and it's a sacred site. <laughs> So I just was going up there to meditate and, and just really like speak my intentions out into the universe. And when I got to the top, there was a man and his dog up there, which were friendly or whatnot. And so I was, you know, connecting with my how light and oh, I had sel selenite too. I like selenite as well. So, you know, I had them in my hands and I was just, you know, praying and setting intentions. And before I knew it, y'all, why did 20 kids just come out of nowhere? <laughs> But I just, I was, 
I was giggling because I was like, okay, Spirit, you're bringing in this youthful energy and that is what I am in need of right now. Okay, clear message. And then they had my favorite color shirt on and I was just like, okay, Spirit, I see you doing what you doing. Um, but yeah, they had orange shirts on and they were just sweet as can be. Looked like they were around five, four years old. And yeah, so that was a little highlight of my day. But back to this, this, I, I didn't know what we was going to do because I'm working on this morning routine. Let me, let me tell you what happened. So I have used the quote of I'm a free spirit and I just, you know, I just go with the flow. Duh, 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 duh. And now I'm at a point where it's annoying to me. I, I enjoy being a free spirit, but if I'm going to be frank, it's a lot of shit that I need to get done. Like spirit is constantly giving me these downloads and I'm hesitant with moving sometimes and I'm over it. I'm so over it. So over it. Okay. And I'm just like, I really know that successful people wake up at the crack of dime and have a routine, but that ain't never been me but it needs to be me. <laughs> so earlier this week, I came across this ad on my um, fire TV and you know how they just show similar um, titles of something that you watch. And I, I just happened to like scroll by and I saw this thing that said the miracle morning. And I was like, hmm? what's that? Cause I've been getting up and, and, you know, I have my own little routine of making my green tea and getting my peptides, you know. So I, I've been doing this habit stacking thing, right? And now it's like, okay, I really need to get centered and get certain things done because I'm a whole totally different person when your morning starts off right. So I was like, hmm, the morning roots, the morning, no, the miracle morning. That was, that's what the title was, the miracle morning. And I was like, huh, what's, what's, what's that all about? So I looked at it, I clicked on it and it was a fee and I was like, okay. I said, well, let me do some research. So I go on Google and long and behold, the movie is on YouTube. So I was like, oh, well, I will be watching this. So I decided to watch it and do my workout. And the movie is on YouTube and it's about mm, an hour and 40 minutes. It's also on this man's website. So the guy who created the Miracle Morning is Hal Elrod, E-L-R-O-D. And the book is about $14. But like I said, the movie is available on YouTube and the website. So I was like, let me watch it first before I invest in the book. And what I come to find, find out is that he has an app as well and a Facebook group and a podcast. So he has a lot of options for anybody who is ready to take their mornings by storm. But the gist of it is that the Miracle Morning is just a method that we've heard time and time again about giving yourself time and, you know, pouring into your mind and your body and it'll allow more productivity and self-confidence. But more than anything, the the main method is just to improve your quality of life at the start of each day. So waking up at 5 a.m. to experience the calm in the morning. Yeah, I done read the book, The 5 a.m. Club by Robin uh, Sharma. I think that's the name. But I ooh, waking up at 5 a.m., I'm not even going to say that was once a struggle for me. <laughs> I mean, I worked night shift for 15 plus years. So it's like waking up at the crock of dawn. No, even when I was a kid, I would wake up and not want to talk to anybody for a whole hour. So this is really me reprogramming my mind to wake up and be happy to do these certain tasks to align my mind, body and spirit and have a wonderful day. Do y'all hear the sarcasm in my voice? Okay, well, yeah, that's the gist of it. Just to give you a quick snippet, he uses the acronym SAVERS, S-A-V-E-R-S, right? So the S is for silence, and you just, what I realized is that he 
takes 10 minutes to address each of these letters of the S-A-V-E-R-S, right? So the S stands for silence, and that's all about just decreasing your stress, just taking time to breathe, uh, reducing your anxiety while increasing happiness and focus, Okay, And then next we have the A, which is all about affirmations. And we know affirmations are known to improve our self-esteem and confidence. Then the V is for visualization. So you do a rehearsal in your mind of you performing at your best. So a lot of times people have talked about how they visualize how they want their day to plan out. So why not do that at the crack of dawn? <laughs> Before you do anything else, do these things. Uh, the E is for exercise. So it increases your energy, of course, and your physical well-being. But for 10 minutes, I can't do much of nothing but um, stretch for me personally. But he, on the movie, he did like a whole little seven-minute workout that was beneficial for him. So whatever, whatever works, whatever floats your boat. And then also the R is reading. So learning how to change any area of your life. And lastly is the S for scribing, which is a time for you to reflect, you know, track any progress, cultivate any gratitude with the journal. So you make it your own, but it's all about doing those six things within 60 minutes and accomplishing a lot before 8 a.m. even arrives. And I must say, I've been practicing it. I, I, I can't say that I've been getting up at 5 a.m. The day after I watched the movie, I did, right? I didn't go to sleep until the wee hours of the morning. But my body woke me up at 4.38, and I was like, what the hell? So it's really something about the information getting fed into our heads and that it just triggers a change. So for me, I was like, oh, my body naturally woke up at 4.38. Okay, well, I guess I'm get up even though I only had three hours of sleep and I'm truly one of them people that need six to eight hours of sleep, but I was eager and I was excited. And then the, the days following, I did not get up early, early in the morning, but I still did the savers technique throughout my day. So whatever works best, you know, I'm always going to help you guys out because y'all are helping me with this journey <laughs> of listening, which I truly appreciate. Um, so yeah, maybe you want to check out the Miracle Morning, if you want to capitalize off of this new moon energy and shift some things in your life, again, you can watch it on YouTube or go to his website. And I believe he can send you the link. It's free. It's just a documentary or whatever. But he really talks about his journey. And also, no, I'm, I'm not going to, yeah, watch it for yourself. I was, I was going to say something that happens, but it's powerful to see this man's journey. And you, you know how... Certain people have gifts and you know that was meant just for them. He's one of them people that the journey that he's been through was specifically for him to bring about these. He got he has a series now of the Miracle Morning that helps a plethora of people in different ways. Just kind of like Chicken Soup for the Soul, how he has a million titles. Well, he's done the same thing with the Miracle Morning. But yeah. I believe how was meant to experience the things that he experienced just to do what he is doing. And yeah, hopefully we all find our purpose in life and it's never too small nor too big. We just got to do what we got to do. Right. And on that note, I'm out until next time. All right. Peace. Peace.